Okay, welcome. It's Hukolo TV. It's the 28th of February. If you're in a certain part of the world, it's the 1st of March here in Australia. This is Hukolo TV. Um, my name's Roe. This is Kim that's with me. And we are hosting our regular Saturday webinar. All across YouTube, the internet, the planet, everyone's tuning in today. If you're going to be here, this is the place to be, Hukolo TV. So today we're going to have a general webinar. Um, so all questions are invited to the guests that Jim will bring through later on today. Um, also a couple of announcements just to go on that we will have a, uh, a channeling webinar 2.0. This is inviting people who are on the edge of channeling and want to break through. You're all invited to come and join. Uh, uh, it's a paid webinar, I think 25 bucks to join, and you can get in a group and expand your channeling, uh, what should we say, channeling expertise. Um, there's also a couple birthdays, a few members out there, Joe and Michael, in, and I just want to give them a big happy birthday. And I want to now hand it over to Jim. Yes. Joe has Welcome. been here already, so <laughs> happy birthday, Joe. Um, I just wanted to say um, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's feeling well. Uh, love and light to you all. I'm feeling very good today. Uh, if there's anybody that you want to channel, let me know. But first, I want to make a couple announcements. The, uh, the Channeling 2.0 class may have to be two different classes because there are so many interested in it. I'm going to have a house full here. So we might do a house channeling and then we'll do it online channeling. So because I'm going to have at least seven or eight people here at the house. So uh, then maybe we'll have a different date for the channelers online so that everybody can get a chance to channel and it, it'll be more fair and it, you'll get more out of it that way because it'll be more personalized. So there may be two, and we may change the time to maybe a little earlier for those of you that are online, because uh, sometimes she had put out 3:30, but uh, sometimes uh, we had a conversation, and I, uh, she said sometimes that's not good for everybody. So maybe one o'clock might be good because then we have the early people that are will be able to do it, and the later people will be able to do it. So. Maybe one o'clock might be a better time. Just let us know. Give us some feedback on that so that we know. Here at the house, 3.30 is fine because we're all in the same room. So um, um, we're not sure yet. <laughs> I'm not sure of the dates yet. Where we're looking for people. I will talk to the people here today about the dates for the, the one here. So the other thing I wanted to mention was that Liney, as you know, Caroline, uh, from England, it has put up a Mother Earth healing site. It has gotten over 1,200 likes in a, just a couple days. It's a wonderful site. Join it and uh, also listen to the video. They, uh, Peter took the channeling of Sun or Soon from last week's video and uh, from last week's webinar and made it into a, a incredibly beautiful video so uh, it's really really very dynamic and it's and definitely Mother Earth needs to be healed so we really want uh, that kind of participation I I just was moved to tears by the whole idea because it's so beautiful and uh, Mother Earth definitely needs our attention at this time. And um, so much love to you, Liney. That was absolutely fantastic. And Peter as well. You guys did an awesome, awesome job. And I think that will reach a lot of people for Mother Earth. And that thrills my heart because I love nature and beauty. And, and uh, what you did for Mother Earth there was really quite... Um, Beautiful and genuine and heartfelt. So, thank you, thank you very much. So, uh, anybody have any requests? Oh, Jim, just quickly before, I just want to thank um, Inner Day, uh, sorry, Inner Vegan for doing the webinar this week as well. Yesterday on the oh. healing webinar. So, thank you for yes, stepping up. 
Okay, Thank you, done. Inna. That, that was, was beautiful. beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful, Inna. I loved your prayer and I loved the meditation. I got dropped from the call after a while, but it was still what I heard was absolutely amazing, very nice. Thank you. And all those who participated, thanks a lot. So it was a prayer for Gurk Fichtnir and Mother Earth because, of, as you know, Gurk Fichtnir is going to their meeting with the politicians of Earth today. And so we need to be very prayerful today uh, that they do well and that all things get resolved. So connect together as um, a group of love, just as vibrant love beings, and uh, send them all that you can. I get a little emotional when I talk about that because we do not want our uh, Fick near to leave, and I'm praying that they don't. And I, I feel in my heart that they won't, but they still need our prayers really a lot. They really need our prayers. So, anything else, Rally? No, I think that's everything, Jim. We're ready to go ahead whenever you're set. Well, I don't know if you want to introduce people at your place. Okay, can somebody read the people? Um, I can push the names. I see. Uh, okay, the, Beyond, is that correct? What did you say, Beyond? Uh, Bijan. Bijan, okay, very good. Welcome. Like Bijan Mustard. Thank you, Jim. Oh. Pleasure to finally meet you. Yes, welcome. <laughs> and uh, then there's Brian and Caroline or Liney, as you all know her. Hello. And, and uh, Guru Dan and Kim and Rowie, of course. Hello. And then we have uh, Caitlin. And we have uh, Nitrous Pegasus. Hello, Sean. Hi, Shiny. Much love. And, and Stephen. And then we have... Uh, yes, and then we have Francine here, Barbara, and Sandy. Hi. <laughs> so we have three today. Will was wanting to join us, but he had to go help his sister move, who is in Asheville, North Carolina. So, uh, but he sends his regards. So anyway, does anybody have any requests for somebody to channel today? I, I was going to, I, I just wanted to say, um, I love how the sun is just radiating off you, Jim. Oh, thank you. That's it cool. wasn't planned that way, but, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Sean's going to watch us. Yes, yeah, Jim, don't, get, don't get jealous. I'm, I'm not taking your place. So... <laughs> All right, anybody have a uh, request? I'm sure that won't last too long. Wow, the, it's yeah. just a bad angle, isn't it? What about uh, Shell? I have a request. Shell? Shell, okay. Somebody else? Um, how about um, Metro Lamas? Of the canine being? Yes, or a ruler from his world. Maybe they would want to. What's the name? A ruler? A ruler. Oh, a ruler from his world. Okay. Yes. Metro Lamas or a ruler. Okay. Anyone else? Hey, Jim. I'd like to read. Uh, but, uh, it, it would be cool if uh, I request uh, like one of the species that are here on the planet. Like uh, someone talked about there's like a hedgehog looking critter uh, in our in Antarctica that they're really shy. And uh, it would be cool if we could contact with them more like the spider species. That's a real intelligent. I heard that there's an intelligent spider species that lives here on Earth, too. It would be cool if we could, like, connect with one of them that actually live here on the planet. Interesting. Okay. I, w I heard that there was a spider species. I've never channeled that. Or the what? what is the other one like? A gopher or? A hedgehog. So it's, hedgehog. I heard it's like a, it's like a hairy hedgehog, small-looking hedgehog-looking animal. Uh, they're really intelligent, too, but they're really shy. They live in the north. They're really cold areas. In the north uh, area. Steve, you're from Steve. You're from Texas, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm like an Andromedan for change. An Andromedan. Okay. I think we already talked to one Andromedan before. 
I mean, one that said that they were just on Andromeda. Yeah, Jim, I wanted to request if Bastok had, could come back through again. Bast? Basta? Yeah, I thought her name was yeah, Bastok. Bast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, Egyptian go, the Egyptian goddess kind of thing, or ruler? Yeah, she Bast. was a ruler. Yeah. Bast. Yeah, Bast. Yeah, Bast. Yeah, Bast. Yes, I remember her. Yeah. She was a very, she was very adamant about pronouncing that last T. And the, yeah. I found out why, because the last T is makes her name feminine. Without the the T, it's masculine. So oh, that is why okay. she was very um, insistent on you say the T, because without if you would just say Bass, that's a, a masculine name, and so Bass is the Bastard. feminine form, and yeah. she did not want to be known as a man, so. Um, Jim? Because she Jim? is a powerful woman. Yes. Jim? Yes, Brian. Yeah, yes. Um, maybe an update on how things are prepared or like what's going to transpire today. With, yes. Uh, um, I thought about that. Well. Okay, we have a lot of requests right now. Um, uh, people heard, and there's some. They're not real close right at the moment, but as soon as I start my meditation, I know that somebody will be coming. So, but I can see them up there. So, uh, I think we'll we'll go with all those for now. Um, I have no idea who's coming, um, but uh, say a good prayer. Uh, be very positive. I'm in a very good frame of mind today. I mean, I usually am, but better than usual today. So I don't know what that's all about. But um, yes, I'm enjoying it. But I have a really positive feeling about Girk Fickner and I, maybe that's it. I've been praying for them all week and beyond this week. So, All right. I'll see you later. We'll see who comes. And um, much love to you. I hope you get a lot out of it. I'm not this is just a regular question and answer day. So whoever comes, if they have a message, they'll I don't know if they'll ask for questions or not. I have no idea. So, um, all right. See you in a little bit. I am shell of the Chakani people, however you pronounce it anymore. Some say Chakani, some say Chakani. It does not matter to me. Thank you. Thank you very much. I came for a short message to you. Your Grook Fikneer, the, uh, the alliance that is speaking to the politicians of the earth, do not worry. They are very well prepared. We have given them much counsel. Whether they take it or not, I believe they have taken much of it. And to say that is to also say that they are very articulate and are going to speak in a very profound way that cannot be misinterpreted. Therefore, I believe that things will be worked out. I'm not sure if every point will be worked out, but I believe the, the most of the points will be definitely worked out because... Although there are many languages and many kinds of peoples and cultures involved in this, the Grokfiknir Alliance has allowed for the understanding to be with all of them. 
In fact, they may speak more than one language to make sure that there is no confusion in the interpretation. And they are bringing a couple humans with them to the council, even though they are not politic political, they still are very knowledgeable of the way that the world works. And so I believe this will be a benefit as well because they will be able to understand with their telepathic abilities where some of these people are coming from, whereas the aliens with their telepathic ability to some of these humans may not get a clear understanding because they are in a different frame of mind. Do you understand that? So they are very prepared. They are very prepared for all the different outcomes and scenarios. So therefore, I, I foresee a very great meeting today. But keep your prayers coming. Keep your prayers coming because there is much to be understood by those on your political field and much to be gained with Grukfiknir as your uh, alliance with Earth continues because definitely the, the planet, I saw that you did the planetary Healing, this is a very wise move. The earth needs healing. We do not talk about that much, but it is so true that the earth is in a need for healing, not only in the places that were mentioned, but in other places where chemicals are being dumped, where things are being added to the earth that are not healthy, where the, the entire planet is surrounded by a chemical dust, or a chemical, a chemical compound, so to speak, and it is not good for the Earth. So therefore, you need Grukfiknir to continue with their work in this area, in all areas. Is there any questions for me now? just want to say thank you, Shao, for coming through and uh, giving us that message. I'll open it up to questions. Yes, thank you. Yes, uh, Shell. This is Brian. Brian. Yes. Yes. I'm. Um, I'm so thankful for the beings like yourselves who give us can understand to a great degree uh, humanity and can help the other extraterrestrials understand why it's so important at this time. Yes, some of them are very difficult to get through to because their cultures are so very different and so very diverse. However. We, yes. The one thing that they can understand is that they, you are alive just as they are alive. And yes. to bring your life to an end was to be similar to, as to bring their life to an end. At least you can relate in that thought pattern. And so therefore, with your sentience and their sentience alike, they can understand that you're timeline needs to continue even though they may want your planet for themselves because of the rich resources they are still understanding that you are protected that's the thing I I, I wrestle with sometimes is if somehow the reptilian or something certain ex uh, insectoids if they could just feel the, what human humans feel you know that the degree a level of love this degree of of acceptance, if, if somehow they can if we can bridge that gap and they can understand where they're harming the planet also. You know what I'm saying? I understand, but they are cold blooded creatures that are just now starting to become warmer blooded. Does this okay. make sense to you? It does make a difference on how you feel when your systems are cold. When your systems are warm, you feel things in a different way than their, and your sensibilities and sentience is different than those beings that have come from cold-blooded beginnings. So of it's course, you of have come from a cold-blooded beginning also, but your evolution was much faster in some ways because you had help. However... Yes. Some of these other species did not have the help that you had because not everyone related to their appearance and thought that they would become sentient 
in the sense of the intelligent sentience. But it is true that they have developed high intellects. However, their emotions and feelings and sensations are not the same. So it's just a part of their evolution that eventually they will come to have a, a greater heart. Yes, because in many cases, in sectoids, when they come to Earth to deal with people, they are not careful with the human. They have an exoskeleton, so they push and prod and push people around and hurt them and harm the skin because this does not happen with them and they are not sensitive to it because their exoskeleton cannot be harmed easily. I understand. Thank you, my friend. Yes. Thank you, Brian. I have a question. Does there have... Yes. Uh, hello, Shia. How are you? I am fine. Um, I was uh, wondering about... Uh, there's this uh, guy uh, that runs the Peacemaker Society where you can uh, uh, become unincorporated, unregistered from the government where you can claim your own sovereign rights back. I was wondering if you had any information what pertains to that. There are some pluses to that. However, withdrawing in this nature, you get no help from the government in any way, shape, or form, and therefore your health insurances and things that are come from outside of this sovereign state do not exist in some places. So you must be careful. If you need any of these things, you must be careful to become sovereign, but not to make yourself in an unhealthy way separated from everything. I understand. Uh, thank you. And also, could you send a message to my uh, my SSI Shikani Soul Contract uh, that uh, uh, I am ready to channel? Uh, I made er, uh, made a contract earlier with uh, with my Soul Contract. If you could, thank you. Yes, I will let them know that you are ready in your thoughts and spirit. But you may not be ready for them. They may not be ready for you. They may not want to come until the time is exactly right for them because there is something that may be happening. But then again, it may be the perfect time for you. I do not know. This, I will transfer that information to them. Thank you. Much love. Channeling is a very special state. I want to say something about it. Because not everyone who wants to channel will channel because they do not have the messages coming to them that are necessary for the world. However, some will channel and they will not even know it. They will be giving messages to those around them that need the information that is important to others. And they may not even know that someone has come in, but they have opened themselves up for these truths to come and channel through them to help others. This is the reason for channeling is to help others and sometimes it is in a, a worldwide scenario and sometimes it is in a one-to-one -one scenario but it is all important. The kind of channeling you will do is not necessarily to be named but it will happen but you may not become the kind of channeler that you wish to be but that is necessary for you to be. Does that make sense to you? Yes. And some of you are already channeling and you're looking to channel, but you are already moving that information from your soul, from your mind, from spirit to others. But it can be modified and it can be strengthened. And I will be with you and there will be times when you will understand... Ah, I cannot even put it into words. This now r is important for those that have ears to hear what is important for now. Some of you that are channeling one-on-one -on -one personally will become greater channelers for groups of people 
and perhaps the world. But it is not important to label it. It is not important to say, I want to be a great channeler when any channeling can be great. Thank you, Shell. And I want one more quick question, really quick. Uh, I feel it's important. Uh, the Galactic Federation of Light has decreed about the prosperity funds and about uh, the uh, about changing this world and, and the governance and everything. Do you do you have any information about that? I just know that they get the information from different species, including ours, about how to move forward in this adventure that they are pursuing, this journey, because eventually they will become uh, useful to the world. Thank you. But not right yet. They are still growing, they are still developing. And there are many things that are coming to bring them into turmoil and confusion, but they will come through it because they understand the importance of it. Continue. If that is all my usefulness is for, I shall leave you now and bring someone else that may have another message. Okay, thank you. Is there anyone else with Jim that has any questions? I believe this lady here. Uh, I, I don't have anything in my mind at this time. Ah, you were saying something, I thought perhaps. All right, very well then. I bid you a great day and many prayers and blessings. Keep your love flowing and do not let that which is negative become who you are. Enjoy your nows because they are yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Much love, Shell, and appreciation. Yeah. Much love. Yetata. Yeah, I am Bast again. Welcome back, Bast. It's a what pleasure to have you again. Why is it that you call me? Uh, someone has questions for Bast? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, there we are. Hello, Bast, how are you? This is Dan. Danny, speak. <laughs> When you came through first uh, last week or the week before, I felt very, very connected to you. And since then, I had a lot of memories from your experiences. And I was wondering how really connected we are because I feel very close to you. I understand a lot of uh, what you've gone through. Yes. Yeah. You were what was called my sensor. It is a person that is my mate when I'm away from my husband. Because we have needs as well, and if we cannot see our husbands for many years or months, we need a seesaw. And therefore, you share my thoughts and gave me thoughts of your own. But only a great seesaw would be in my presence and you would remember things from our existence together. Yeah, I remembered a lot of things from, uh, from the fall 
from the fall of the uh, of your organization when uh, when they were coming in and undermining your your leadership and and how upsetting that was yes i did not like it it was perplexing and i could not trust even the closest of people at that time and felt that I was no longer in control and control was everything that I was there for because I was strong and knew how to do it. Yeah, uh, you had a really good plan but they, they couldn't see, they didn't share your vision. They said they did, but they really couldn't comprehend it at the time. And I feel like that an awful lot in my own personal life. And I felt really strongly connected then at that time. There was jealousy because the plan was going to be successful, but they did not like that a woman was giving the plan. It was like a man's plan, but they could not perceive it coming from a woman so they suspected me yeah yeah that wasn't good uh, are we going to be channeling like uh, just each other sharing information here even more information as we go because I was kind of thinking that um, we were going to have an open line of communication yes the need for communication will come when necessary. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming and thank you for uh, sharing with me. Does anybody else have any questions for Bast? Bast. Hello, Basta. Yes. Uh, I just wonder if uh, I had a connection with you. Uh, when let uh, let me see. There is other lives on a different planet that we do have a sharing with, but not here on Earth. Uh, could you uh, did I have any information about that? Just out of curiosity. It was. Alpha Centauri D. That is, is that all. Part, is that part of my uh, uh, my uh, my triple hybrid DNA right now? It is. Yes. Thank you. Thank Much you. love. Continue to work forward. We will see each other again. Yes, thank you. Uh, hello, Bass. Greetings. Who am I speaking to? This is uh, Pegasus. I want to ask if I ever travel travel back in time to ancient Egypt. Um, would you like to be uh, a mate to each other? One moment. Have you traveled pa into the past? Is that what you said, or do you wish to? Um, I wish to travel into the past, and if I ever do, would you like to be mates with each other, me and you? I would check you for acceptance. I would not deny you an interview for such things. Perhaps you could be, perhaps not. I will make my decision at that time. It would be interesting for you to travel into the past. I believe in your dream state you have already done so. However, I have not met you yet. Okay, uh, thank you. 
You are welcome. Bast, I have a question for you. Uh, my name is Rowie. Rowie. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I would like to ask, um, from where are you speaking from in this now? Where do I'm you communicate? I'm spirit at this time. Okay, thank you. You called me from an earth place. So I'm coming back to Earth Spirit as I know it. I've been in many lives since this life that you speak of me being in, but I remember uh -huh. it well from Spirit. And it is mostly a good thought and many lessons. Well, thank you for bringing the messages through to us. It's a real honor for many people to connect with you and what's happened in our history and bringing much clarity, so thank you for that. You are welcome. You are permitted to enjoy the information. Does anyone else have any questions? Women who are looking to be leaders have got to stand up for themselves against the men who think they know more than you. Because once they realize that you know more than them or as much, then one of two things happen. They push you away completely or they respect you completely. There is no middle ground for these kinds of men. But if they push you away, then you must find another way to get to them because they are in power. However, in your situation, you have great power and intellect and respect already. There are those who see you as a great leader already and wonder why you do not rise higher. The reason why you do not rise higher is because you channel your energies in so many ways. One direction or two would be more acceptable and bring you much more satisfaction. You will rise, my dear. But be patient with yourself. The times have got to be right. It is not only of your will, but of others as well. And I came into the situation where it was the will of my husbands to enter a leadership position because I became a handful, for one thing, and they realized also that I had great leadership ability and I would not back down. And they knew that the south of Egypt would be safe in my hands because I was as strong as they were. My cunning was as great as theirs. And they knew what invasions were coming because they had been spoken of for many years and I have already had plans for when they came. Planning, my dear. Planning. <laughs> yes, women must plan, but not in a devious way, but in a way that must show that they are the right person. Hello. Um, hello, who is this? Uh, I, have a, I have a question. Yes. Um, you were speaking about femininity. Yes. And here and now, this was exactly what my question was about. Um, so I'm, I am facing um, some kind of a leadership role. What can you, what could you ch suggest to me? Yes, femininity is acceptable. But when there is time for decisions to be made, you must be willing to make them quickly. You must understand 
and study before the decision is to make be made what the decision is going to be because there will be times when you come into a leadership position decisions must be made quickly so learn about what is happening with this company project whatever beforehand be very knowledgeable know it inside and out so that you are able to make quick and powerful and strong decisions that will be successful if there is a time when you must say I must think about it the longer you think about it the less respect will come because they feel indecisiveness is weak but yes. yes femininity can still be there dress as a woman look as a woman do not be ashamed that you are a woman I was not ashamed of my beauty I was not ashamed of my body I was not ashamed that men were lustful after me but it gave me more power and more likability and my decisions were strong and they could see me as both a woman and a leader but yes, be careful beautiful. do not be condescending treat everyone equally because if you condescend you will lose power condescension is something that is not tolerated in women leaders not for long there will be a rebellion if you continue this kind of action but I see you as the kind of woman that will not be a problem with that no so take care of that but I just warn for those moments you do not speak down to people but speak equally to people so that you may have their respect and their eye contact and they see that you are looking into them as someone that you can trust those are beautiful yes. words thank yes, you yes I yes Bast yes yeah. I this is Brian yes Brian there's a high probability that we will have a female president in this country yeah that would be a wonderful thing the empowerment of women the goddess energy returned it is interesting that women can sometimes make decisions better than men and the reason is men have the authority without having to earn it sometimes women must earn it and therefore with their decision making comes great wisdom because they've learned things to get where they are sometimes men rise to power and their wisdom is shaky and they must depend on those around them to give them wisdom but sometimes a woman has the wisdom and the intuition that comes with the the world of the feminine mindset it is a beautiful thing that is why men and women work together well is because they are offset to one another so it's finding that balance it is mm. yeah may I segue a balance, a balance between control and submission with women can be an issue because <laughs> sometimes a woman in control on her off times can sometimes stay in the role of leadership and not be as submissive as she should be because the thoughts have still permeated her mind for a great deal of time but submission is freedom yes yes or submission both. is freedom to a woman to be who she is meant to be in that now 
Yes. Just keep that in mind. Yes. Much love and appreciation. Thank you. So segueing from Brian's question, how were females treated in the times that you were here on Earth, Bast? I had many great female servants that were educated. I would have all the household educated. I would not have someone in the household who could not equally speak to me that I could not speak to in my language and theirs. And therefore, my household was balanced. Everyone was equal in their stature to me, except when I was ruling. But other times they could speak to me and I was not degrading. But if they did not speak to me properly, I would have to let them know this. And if this continued to happen, they would be released from the household. Thank but you. women were important. Women are always important. Huh. Where would you be without us? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you said you mentioned that you have a language. Would you like to uh, expand on that? In what way would you like to me to expand on that? Yes, we had the planet. Your planet had a language. The Egyptian human. language, yes. And then yes, we had the our human language. language. And, and our language, language was different from the Egyptians. However, everyone was schooled in how to speak to me in my language, if that's what I preferred at that time. Is it possible or for I you could to speak. give us an example of this language? Of course. A blessing, please. Who is speaking? Uh, this is Noha. I was saying, can you yes. give a blessing in your language? Ah, this would be uh, acceptable. One Thank moment, you. please. Sus forstafia, fascientia mium yo qua, sishta huti shitisa, indof. Yeah, Many, many thanks. That's a present to you, Sabrina, for you tonight. The message was, to my dear people of the earth, there is much that I can teach you, but this is a moment for you to expand in your interesting ways. Ah, ah. It is... accept the blessing as it was because someone was interfering with it and they blocked some of it. That is all right. They did not block the speaking of it. And so therefore it still has power. I shall go now. Um, could I ask one more question? Um, it's for Zenaida. Um, she was meant to, she wanted to ask last time, um, it's about Anubis and Sekhmet's story. Z uh, Zenaida asks, um, who is the father of um, Sekhmet? Um, she says, I need a name because I was her father that time. I see. Well, I would have to think of, uh, I was not around at that time. But I can tell you about Anubis, I can tell you about Sekhmet, 
and I can tell you about the father. Uh, actually, Ra was some, one of the people that claims to be father of Seknek, but is only the energizer of the in, of the power within them. Do, one moment. <laughs> he is not recorded in your history, but is a very in essential part. His name is Metsesot. Would you mind repeating that again? You kind of broke up fast. Mepsisut. Mepsisut is the father. Many thanks. There, he has another name, but that is how I know him. He is recorded in your history as another name. I will see if I can find it. I'm sure Zenaida would be absolutely excited if uh, something could come with that. So thank you very much. And thank you for answering our questions again, Bass. It's been a pleasure for you to be here. Thank you. We welcome you back at any time. This, this place has many interchangeable energies. And it is often difficult to maintain a stable connection with you from spirit because of the different energies that are about. But the energy in this place as it is, is fine. But other than that, outside the building, as you call it, there are many different energies at work. But I will leave you now. Many yeah, blessings. Yeah. Much love, as you Namaste. say on your world. <laughs> Much love. Much love. <laughs> YouTube, you look. It is appropriate for me to speak today. This is Dizdu. Oh, wow, Dizdu. Thank you for coming through. Welcome. I am speaking to you as one who is concerned for today's developments. As so we are. There will be the meeting very shortly. It's not long from now. And it is in an undisclosed place within the European continent. We will have dinner in some fashion and then speak to one another. But do not be concerned, but send your prayers. Worry is negative. Therefore, do not worry, but send your unconditional love and your positivity that things will happen well. Will this we be a meeting? Our documents. What was that? Uh, sorry to interrupt. Please carry on. We have written our documents in such a way that none can be misconstrued within it. We have written it so that many languages can be sure exactly of how we speak. We have brought light onto the situation 
that how we have helped in the past and how we continue to help in the future if we are permitted without danger. This day is important for all of history, for this timeline and for this understanding of mankind. We are in a dimension that can be understood properly by many different civilizations. And yours is one. And so we bring this grounding to each of you. We bring with us also a gift of peace what you would call an olive branch in some of your languages. Many understand the neat meaning of it. The dove, the olive branch, or something in the peaceful spiritual realm. This is how we will begin. We will give them all the sensation that telepathy can give them in a positive way. We will let them read us and know us in some way that they have not yet understood us. And therefore, as an opening, we will show them our hearts and give them an understanding of what we feel, think, imagine, and our emotional state at this time. It will be able to be received because we have prepared strongly for this. Our intentions for this have been greatly enhanced. Therefore, let us go with the understanding that peace will come Perhaps we may not agree on every point. Perhaps there will be some differences. But at least I believe they will let us continue without pointing their weapons at us. This is the greatest of our concerns at this time. This is the heart of the matter where we feel that we are not welcome and that our help is not appreciated and therefore we would like to help with great love and give and take with great love because without an interaction of give and take it is uneven. Unevenness will not last and there will be a faltering if the balance cannot be continued. Our hearts are with you. We love you and we will not stop being a one-on-one -on -one kind of civilization, alliance, or whatever you would want to call us. Even though if we have to move away, we will not be far enough away to stop our contact with you. But we will continue it. And we will continue to try to work our way back into favor with your politicians and countries and places of the world where we know that we are suspects. At this point, we are only wishing for the best. At this point, we are only hoping to narrow the gap between us so that we may communicate in a way that is helpful for both. We love you as a species, but more as individuals. We can see into your hearts as individuals, but it is more difficult to see into the entire species, of course. But we do see that this timeline is essential not only for mankind but with several species 
that are with you right now. Several species will benefit by your existence by your existence and we will benefit as well and you will benefit as well of course you will benefit if your timeline does not continue you will be gone so therefore we asked you to be as positive as possible on this day we asked you to bring as much light to the earth as possible in your hearts and beings when you connect together, that light becomes very, very bright and very, very powerful. And we can see it now. But take heart for each of you because the future of Gokfiknir is in your hands in a very real way. Your love for us, your understanding of us, is closer than any understanding with the rest of the world. And therefore, we depend on you greatly as loving creatures to edify our position in this and every realm. My heart goes out to you and to your people and to the countries and to the entire planet. Be with Mother Gaia as you speak to her. She is also part of this solution. For if she continues to die, you will too. So we are all working together for the edification of an existence and many existences. That is all I have to say. Dear Stu, may I say, and I think I can speak to all of us here from Hukolo and everybody present in this now, what an honor it is to be part of Hukolo, to send this message of positive light towards these people, towards our government, towards the aliens that surround us and be that positive light, be that change that we need to be so we can allow this to happen in our reality around us and thank you so much for coming today and giving us that heartfelt message. I, I believe I can thank you from everybody here. Um, would you like to take questions? If there are questions I will take them and thank, thank you. you. wondering who, who who is it that your their group of near is meeting with today would it be like our president or the president of several there countries? yes it is more than one president more than one leader more than one dictator more than one even council from some countries there are four or five people coming from other countries there are just one represent the general population, I don't believe. But they take it into their hands to represent the world because they are in control of it. Therefore, they do represent you as they want, but may not represent your heart, but they represent you in that they are the leaders of you. They have now understood, however, many people's positions because many of you have spoken out to them in a way that they understand they were not aware that you felt so strongly and they were not aware that you even existed in the way that you do exist I am not making that clear but I can tell you that they see you differently so therefore yes they do represent you as the leaders of you. Um, I have a quick question. Um, yes. The contract that's been renewed or rewritten, will this be available to any of us to be able to be privy to? 
That would be up to your government. As far as we are concerned, it should be an open book. I agree. And I invite the, the leaders, the governments, the representatives to start making moves towards this. Because obviously we they are going to listen to this. So We would love I to be able to just share our presentation with you, but that is not possible. But there are three of us from Gurkvignir going, and also two humans that have been with us for many years going with us. Their telepathy is strong with humanity, as is ours. However, we will try to anticipate all negative thoughts and processes. Is there any fear that comes up from the humans that you meet with because of the t powers of telepathy and other, other other things that we can do? It, does there ever come up any elements of fear? Of course. But first we will give them the olive branch and the dove and that offering of peace before we let them know that we are going to do such things and they will have a chance to comment before we do but we will let them know that it is not harmful and if they would prefer that we do it one at a time so that there is not a group interaction that would be possible as well and that they could be protected by those around them if any harm is being sensed I understand yeah just trying to negate everything that they might feel that threatened by so they can learn to come out to the rest of humanity with their can you say with their message or with your message yeah would does anyone else like to ask this do any questions yes um, is there um, any help with we did um, uh, meditation yesterday for Gaia and for Gurk uh, oh. Did we help in any way? Yes, a great deal. We were doing more editing on the presentation when you were praying and meditating, and it did help us with clarity. Thank you so much. And we did feel the love and the honor and understanding and respect. We felt Today's much respect. Here. Uh, uh, did we help in that? Yes, you helped. Very greatly helped. Uh, that was a little bit of feedback there. Um, sorry about that, Disney. <laughs> Noha, did you have a question? Hello there. Hi. Uh, I believe the light will overtake all the darkness, and this is what I'm feeling through the teachings of Kryon, and he was saying this, that don't worry about what's going on about the world, all the light will overtake all the darkness, eventually, so I'm quite confident about that. Yes, Kryon has sent us much light, love, and understanding, and he has dispersed much darkness with just saying that. There are many people that follow him and know him as a light, wonderful, loving being. And for him to say not to worry is exactly what I'm saying to you. So there's, no, there's nothing to fear then. It's, everything will be okay eventually. We are expecting it all to be very well. But uh, you are a great you, help to that. Great, thank you. Uh, just tell us uh, about our human colony group. How are we ascending and how are we doing? How are we expanding and how? With our, with our hopes and, and blessings to the world. That's you are growing and becoming beautiful. You are, there are many of you that are going through very hard times right now. But this is part of your contracts or part of your learning before you can be purified. You are coming through the fire, so to speak. 
but you must recognize your shadow energies are being burned away or being ignited so that they can be faced. This is the only way to get rid of some of them, is to face them in a very painful way sometimes. But then once they are gone, you have learned a lesson and may help others through their pain and suffering. Thank you for allowing the fire to burn through the group and through each of you. We see the love coming forth. We see many are being gathered to you greater than before. It was a very small group at one time and now many are watching. Many are understanding the growth of love and the spiritual benefits of human colony. Yes, do so I have so many, uh, so much gratitude and thanks for coming through way back in 2013, I think it was, and giving those messages Feeling the, seeing the uncomfortableness of coming through, but making those steps and meeting us between. And now we actually have you physically doing it with us now, with certain entities of our own human collective. And for that, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just in so much thanks. And look what it's created. So yeah. excellent job, people. And that includes all of Hukalo and yeah. everyone that's contributed. I was the first to speak through Jim to Mac. Uh-huh, I remember it well. I do not want to be the last. Oh, we, we, won't, allow, we won't allow that to happen. That's not in our reality. <laughs> that is correct. Thank you so much. My words, I hope, have touched your heart in some way. Continue to be with us today as we move forward. As we become more united than we ever have before because it's only with your prayers that we succeed. That's beautiful. Thank you, Disney. I will go now. If there is no more questions, I must continue to prepare. For I am the main speaker today. We hope you got a good pilot for your ship while you're gone. Yes. There are many that can guide the ship, but few that can be great leaders. So we are hoping that the leadership will be intact as we leave. Well, we have all the faith in you, these two, and we send our love to you today, and we'll be thinking so much. We will do something after this webinar for the... For the for the uh, for the meetings, some sort of meditation and focus. Thank you. It is appreciated. And your efforts are as well. Thank you so much to you, the IL, and all of Gurkfitnir. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Namaste. We will be connected all of this time. When we are speaking, we will still be connected to you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Much love. Namaste, Much brother. Love. Namaste. Hello. Ooh. Hey. Oh, welcome back, Jim. Hey, how are you? Really good. That was. Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> it was what? Really good. I'm speechless. Uh, I don't know oh. what to say. This dude just gave us an amazing message about the proceedings for today with the meetings. Oh, great. Good. Excellent. Really beautiful. I mean, considering he was the first person that came through you all those, what was it, it's almost oh, two it years ago now. Like 
I will be channeling two years in May now. In May, when May comes, it will be two years. Yeah. So, to be where I am today, um, after only two years, is like floating off the earth, actually. I've come a long, long way. I learned a lot, a lot, a lot of things. And thanks to Grok Fickner, I am with you today, and I and I have so many new friends. I love it. <laughs> you might travel the world. <laughs> yes, I feel very good today, and I knew, I, I sort of knew Dee's Do or Takur would come, one of the two of them, or Pentim, because they're all in on the ship. I didn't think Tepe, but Tepe, but I did think one of the three of them would come to say something about today. So I'm glad it was Dee's Do. I think he was the most appropriate. So. Oh, we're happy to. I mean, to hear from these do like that is, is, is a real honor. He doesn't come through a lot, and I always missed him because yeah, he, he, he was our first that much. contact. Yeah, he was our first. He actually talked to Max first about scientific things and molecules and plants and all kinds of uh, things that Max was asking questions about. So I remember that. It was like very memorable because was the very first time and I was a little frightened and but now I've learned to let go so it's, it's, it's amazing really to see how comfortable he is as well now with it whereas before he yeah. was a little uncomfortable oh yeah he was a little tense before yeah <laughs> but uh, I, of course you can understand when um, you're using a new media and it comes through another person how sure. you can be how it can be tense because you can be misunderstood. You might say the wrong word, whatever, not translate it correctly. Blah blah blah. So, uh, yeah, they were a little uncomfortable at first. So, but uh, I'm glad he came. He gave a message. I'm sure he gave a message about today's council. Yes, he did. A very important one as well. I did want to ask what was going to be written on the agreement, but um, I think he says that's up for our governments to share with us. So. Okay. All right. Um, well, it was so heartfelt, Jim. It really was. It was on the sleeve. Really, really beautiful well, message from Disney. We're all stunned. I think he's a good speaker. Um, he knows what to say. <laughs> I'm wondering if they're meeting like our president's higher self, or are they actually physically meeting with? From what I understood, is actual people are meeting with the aliens. Actual yeah. people, actual, That's not just high. Yeah. Oh, they. Yeah. yeah he, did he say a dinner? Yeah. Well, then it's actual people. That's what the impression I got was that there's actual people going to sit down with the aliens, and things will be served. The people, the uh, I, it's I got a picture of it in my head. There's at least a hundred people there. James, is it on Earth or on on the ship? There's, it's going to be on Earth in the European area somewhere. Somewhere in the European area, but it's an, an undisclosed place, and there will be a lot of people there. There'll be a hundred at least. That's what yes. I, I see. A huge room. It's not the first time. There's been quite a few meetings um, in the last five or ten years about these uh, proceedings. Um, I've been aware of it through other contacts. Um, but I feel that they're really excited about it too, though. So. Yeah, I'm positive as well. Yeah. James, don't you think the ones who are meeting with the aliens aren't they spiritual people in the first place? I I didn't understand that you were sort of muffled. Um, Oh, I'm saying, don't you think the ones who are meeting the aliens are spiritual people in the first place? So they'll help. Yes. In, uh, they'll help in this uh, ascension then. Yes, it will. Um, I get the impression also from just what I see that there will be other. The Federation of Light will have people there, and other federations. The Council of Nine will have a person there, but. Not all of them will be able to be seen, but they will be present. But the Federation of, Federation of Light people will be seen to support uh, the Grook uh efforts. So they're they're going to. There are some other councils and federations that will be joining them today. So that's uh, they will get to see more than just Yu Yil. And um, I'm not sure. 
Did he say how many people were going from the ship? Yeah, three. Three from the ship? Mm -hmm. So that would be him and Pentim for sure, and, and I'm not sure of the third person. Uh, but uh, other uh, aliens or species will be there as well, be representative, and um, that I get that picture. I get this picture of what the council looks like, so it's okay. interesting. That means the first meeting is coming close. Uh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Would you say? I'm saying the first meeting, the first open meeting will be coming close that means. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I mean these, these these are the starts, these are these are the steps. This is this is the history we are writing right in front of you guys. So it's amazing to be part of it with you. It's very cool, yes. And remember, um I'd like you all to look at the Mother Earth healing thing too because it's amazing that so many people are helping Mother Earth to heal. And the video, Peter, awesome, awesome video. I, I was moved really strongly by it. So uh, let everybody know about that because Mother Earth does need the healing right now. I appreciate everything that everybody's doing to for Gruckford Near and Mother Earth right now because they both are part of our timeline and part of the things that must continue. So, thank you very much. Is that something that I can post on my Pinterest? Yes, if you want. So I have like 45, ask Liney. Is Liney still there? Yes. Liney, is it alright for her to post this anywhere? Oh, sorry. I, I just um, had to go for a second. Yeah, sorry, what was that? Uh, is it alright for people to post the uh, Mother Earth healing wherever they need to? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the message, getting the message out. That's important, yeah. Is there a link? Is there something we can search for precisely, or a website address? Um, something people can listen to or listening back to this on YouTube that they can either search well, yes, for. Well, yes, it's on or Facebook in. also. Facebook, it's on Facebook. Where else did you put it, Liney? I know you sent it out to different places. Oh, um, just Facebook at the moment. Um. Yeah. How would you how would you find that line you on Facebook? What would you type in? Oh, um, Mother Earth Healing, and it's Mother got Earth like, Healing. Yeah, and it's got like a, a picture of a. Um, it's very kind of nature looking. The pictures on there. So, but you'll and you'll then, find it. You'll, you'll see the video. That's what I've been. And under, yeah, and underneath it is the video. There's a picture of Earth, and then if you scroll down, the video is underneath that, and it's the video is awesome. I just they took uh, the channeling from Sun or Soon the Elemental from last week uh, Peter did and made it into a video that I did I had just watched it for the first time yesterday and was like oh my god it's so beautiful and heartfelt <laughs> the Elemental came through so loving and good it was just loving I just was like unbelievable and this is how it happens guys, this is how you interacting with your passions and your loves and putting yourself in there, creating something, putting it out there, it's making the magic happen. So I appeal to you all, if you get inspired, go for it. Let yourself yeah. loose. Make those circles happen. Make the waves oh. bounce yeah. across the oceans. When I see Roxy's here, hi Roxy. Um, hi sweetie, good to see you. Good to see you too. Would you like to close us with a prayer? Uh yeah. Are we are we ready to do that? Um is it is every I think so. Um I know that you're in I can feel your energy already. <laughs> Wonderful. Um Is everybody ready for the closing prayer or do you have more uh things to say? You didn't have enough of me. What? I have enough of you today. The time has run so quickly. I can't understand. <laughs> I'm saying Did the you... time has run quickly. We haven't had enough of you. Enough of you. Oh, you haven't had enough of me today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It went so quick. Yes, I missed yeah. all the first part. <laughs> oh, you did? Uh, yeah. What did you do? I only saw the end of that. <laughs> well, if you... If, 
if everybody's up to it, I could I could do another channeling if you'd like. Please, 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 please. Yeah, you're done yet. Please. That's no, a rhetorical no, question, no. Jim. Come on. <laughs> you know what? Um, if somebody wants to come through, uh, I'm 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 open for that. Okay. Hey. Hey, you know, Ronald. We're not done yet. <laughs> I love you, love you for that, Jim. All right, um, hold on. Let's see if there's anybody available, because um, thank you. I came back and usually that they sort of dissipate out there, but they're they're listening still. But uh, let's see. Great, let's great. See what's going on there. All right, hold on. Let's see see if anybody wants to come back <laughs> or anybody's out there. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me squeeze in here. Just uh, uh. Grendel. Uh, yeah, I heard Grindel. somebody call my name, so I had to call. Yay, uh, Grendel. Hi, Grendel. Uh, yeah, hey, we can, how's it we going? Can tell you yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, here we go. All right. But anyway, uh, yeah, I heard, yeah, I, this Grook near politics thing. Oh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. You know, um, just be early positive. Just like do your positive things today. Don't sit there and go, "Oh my God, I hope that." No, that's not gonna work. Uh, that's a waste of time. What you need to do is just put all your positive energy into to one little pot, a piece of your brain, and send it out. Just like a little laser beam. Just send it right out there. To them and let them feel that you're you're there. You're connected with your one little laser beam because remember, all these little laser beams make a great big light. So that's their that's their comfort. They're real comforted by you right now. So I don't want to get all weepy or anything like that. But uh, th yeah, they're all they're all happy with all your efforts and stuff. You're. You're doing a damn good job. That's good. So, um, so hey, does anybody want to ask me anything? You're happy I for us. through because I'm the encore. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy for us? Oh, I, oh yes, of course. Brilliant. Of course. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I came in. I, I was going to come in earlier, but everybody was way more important than me, so I just said, all right, what oh. the fuck? Let them happen, yeah. So let it happen the way it's supposed to happen. So well, in 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 a lot of the human shows and stuff like that, the person that comes on last is the star. So ah, yeah. Well, you know, I always look at myself that way. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I'm more down to earth than some of those creeps. But anyway, oh, they're not. I mean, not creeps. <laughs> no, that isn't the right word. Um, there are some creeps out there, but none of the ones that talked today were creeps. So I can't say that. That's not good. But uh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> so, um, people, you've My requested Grindel. If you have any Hanson questions for him, <laughs> please, this is your time. Yeah. All right. Who wants to say anything? I mean, hey, you can talk too. I don't. You don't have to just ask questions. If you, if you have a comment, I'm. I, I can do a, a um a critique on it if you like. <laughs> Grindel, I have a question. Ah, uh, yeah. Where's my tail? Or your Where's tail? Your tail? You haven't grown one yet. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> lucky Where's my you tail? Uh, evolution gave me a big tail. So I'm. Uh, it grows back really fast. So sometimes it's like a really good thing for prestige on my planet and things. But 
when doing stuff like this, it's sort of a you know a not quite the same. It's sort of a, not a good thing to to have pain. But you know, uh, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Uh, what is your planet, Uh I'm on Flanda. Flanda, yeah. But you know, it, you actually you really couldn't pronounce it the way we do. Flanda. Very. So, uh, yeah, no, you you couldn't even do it. So, well, you could, but it would take some practice. Go back and repeat, repeat, and you'll get it, maybe. So, <laughs> you're a bit quiet now, huh? Uh, what was that? It's okay. Hello. But anyway, my people are know that Hello? I come here. Not all of them approve, of course, but so and now me saying the name, I had one guy come over and uh, gave me a little bit of a in indication that he has an attitude about it, so all right. <laughs> all right. Um, Not a, I don't Wendell? care. <laughs> no. Wendell? Yeah. I have a question. Do you ever yeah. visit us on you cut out on the last word. Oh God, I'm saying, do you ever come on business on Earth? Uh, you, I used to be in the military a long time ago, so I did visit Earth, but I haven't been there for a while. So, no, um, I'm on business. Yeah, you go in and out, honey. I can't hear you. Uh, uh, she's uh, saying, you're saying, do I ever visit people on Earth? Is that the question? She's talking about the people of Hukalo. Oh, do I visit on Hukalo? No, um, yeah. us. Like, come visit us separately. There are a few of you that I do, yes. there. I have visited some people in their private sessions. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they didn't mind because those are the people that I knew that liked me anyway. So, oh, okay. but I do. Uh, there is a couple different people that ask specifically for me when they're channeling because they have some reptilian DNA, and I'm able to answer their questions about their third, uh, third dimensional existence that maybe somebody else couldn't. So, yeah. Yeah, I do visit people in Yukolo, yes. Yeah. I have a question. I saw a being in my sleep, but it, it kind of like, well, I saw it. It was yeah. bluish, blackish, bluish but black. kind of had the feel of marble. It was a being about waist high, my waist high, and pointy wow. ears. Oh, I don't know. Man, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Marble? Marble. Yeah, like, like this can kind of look like marble, marble, but it was bluish, blackish. Wow, that's a You should have you should have uh, grabbed hold of him and made a countertop out of him. <laughs> uh, sounds like a pretty color. Um, yeah, it's a pretty color, but he looked a little menacing. Uh, I do not know. That might have been one of your Earth, under under your Earth species, which I don't know all about them yet, but I do know about some of them. But that sounded like a demon to me, almost. A demon? <laughs> what you would call a demon, but they're not really demons, of course. Well, but uh, I wasn't but afraid that's of them. What you were, huh? You weren't afraid of them? No. Okay. Did you polish him? No. <laughs> Only saw it for a moment. And I was just like, what is that? I'm just being silly. I'm just being silly. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I'm going to have to ask about that. Maybe one of my colleagues knows. But I do not know what species that is. No. Okay. Sarah, Sarah can I follow that statement from Grindel? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Um, and you can ask uh, more questions afterwards. Um, Grindel, we have a concept of angels and 
understandings of demons, as yeah. as it's called. Do you have a similar type of architect on your planet, with your species? Yeah, we do. We have a similar... It seems like whenever belief systems are formed, they're very uh -huh. much like, oh, they're better than me, they're worse than me, they're... They're, they're to be feared. The, the element of fear creates all these things because you need something to get away from the fear so you create, like, uh, uh, God does exist, but you create him in a way that makes him, uh, uh, you know, he, he's a protector. And then you create the, the demons because you're afraid because you heard something rustle in the woods which is probably a deer or a rabbit or a chipmunk or something but you create these things when you don't know any better out of fear mm -hmm. so the way to get to the truth about that when you cut through many centuries of beliefs which is very difficult because they become little solid blocks of energy religions do do you understand that they become solid blocks of energy that you can't escape from because everybody's put rules all over them and so to to escape from it is to enter the unknown and and nasty negative things but that's not true you have to get rid of that shell and understand God as every he is part of everything and that he is guy, you know, he is just what he is, and there is no minimizing him into a shell. There is no minimizing him into a one certain belief. He creates each individual in his own image, and therefore, each individual has their own understanding of who God is. Everybody can tell you who God is. But there's something that resonates within you that you know who God is for you. And that is the only because we are not. We are a part of the same oversoul and same of the same fire, so to speak. But we're not. It's a different piece of it. It's an original piece of it. It's not the same piece that you got or you got or you got. It's yours your piece of the fire and therefore who you are is who is the most perfect you that resonates with who you are and nobody can tell you oh this is the way you should believe because that is putting a shell on God and you don't want to put a shell on God you want to put God in his place which is everywhere he's in everything Every molecule, if you break it open, is energy. Every piece of energy in all the eternities is made of God because he is pure energy. Pure and sentient. That's friggin' awesome. So, Grendel, but when you say it seems demonic, what do you actually mean then? That is a negative energy. It seems like a negative energy. What they would maybe form themselves at. But not necessarily. I just put it in a reference that you might understand. Right. I didn't mean to say that it was a negative energy. That is no, not no, no. I understand, but I wanted to get your understanding of that word because we have such a warped understanding of that word. I didn't, I didn't exactly know what you meant. I understand. Ah, there's a sound here that I thought maybe was a creature trying to drill through the wall. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I was going, oh, well, I didn't mean to offend you, whoever you are, little marble, black, and blue eyes. <laughs> uh, with the pointy ears and all that. But anyway, uh, no, all right. Is that answer your question? Yeah, but why would, well, it doesn't matter why, does it? No. Yes, there, it does matter why. Uh, negativity exists so you can appreciate the positive. But why would it be attracted to me, personally? So you can appreciate the positive. About it? Yes, about everything. You, hmm. you, 
you so you saw it as a positive creature, and so it appreciated that. I'm sure. Oh, <laughs> that I wasn't afraid of it. Of course, yes. Ah. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Yeah, well, we all have our own views of everything. You know, there's a hundred different ways to look at things. That's how my flame looks at things, you know. You'll mm -hmm. see a portion of my flame when I give you my point of view. Mm hmm So that resonates with me, and something else may resonate with you, but that's what makes the universe so freaking interesting, man. It's okay. like, wow, let's get together and share the flame. But you know what? I could learn something from your play, flame that I didn't, didn't know, you know, within myself. Mm -hmm. There's so many aspects and so many things. I think what the perfect flame is is to bring as many flames together as possible. So it's a wonderful thing. I agree. Hey, Randall. <laughs> Uh, who is talking now? Hi, uh, I believe Robert had a question next. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Grendel. How are you doing? Hello. I am fine. Have Have you seen the uh, Jupiter Ascending movie I recommended to you? Ah, that movie thing? I saw a part of it. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> oh, well, it's a little racy there sometimes. Uh, what did you think of it? But I like it. I, I I thought it was interesting, and it's actually is a, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Jupiter ascending. Yeah, I, I'm gonna watch the rest of it later. Uh, what did you think of the reptilians in that movie? <laughs> hey, they did a pretty good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's some that look sort of like that. Yeah, I mean, not exactly, but sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to get your opinion. Well, what is your opinion on werewolves? Uh, werewolves? They, you know what? They were aliens. They weren't. They were negative. What you would call a negative alien. They didn't exist um, on Earth all the time. They had their period where they were here, and then they were sort of gone for a while. They, there's still a couple of them here, but they, Earth is not the place for them. They're, they're, uh, they'd be stalked and killed if they did anything with humans. And even if they start doing it with cattle and stuff, and it's still no, they're, 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 uh, they'd be stalked and killed, and they know it. They only live in very isolated places on the planet. So are they like, uh, well, are they like, um, are there any uh, positive ones? Uh, of course, there are always positive and negative and everything, and that's why uh, some of them are still here. Some of them are still positive. Some of them are, um, you know, are able to get around certain things. However, there's other planets more suited to them, and that's where most of them are. But where can I find them on this planet? You can find them in um, the Australian outback. There's still some there, and um, that's w and the uh, Russian tundra area, and maybe even the uh, there might be in the tundra area in the Can Canada area, but they're in isolated areas where it's sort of. Um, you know, not very many people. They can do what they want. But there's not many of them, really. There's really not many. Uh. I have a question. Yeah. Is my uh, reptilian friend still around? Yeah, he's there. Is Teddy he, come in my home? Uh, I'm not sure if he came in your home, but I know he's still around you. I know he's been more careful for to not be seen lately. But, uh, You've seen him a couple times already. Uh, all right. Well, before you go, please. Is it is it Caroline? 
Is it your turn? Do you okay. understand her, anybody? I can't understand you, sweetheart. Gwendol. Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> um, can I just, I just want to clarify something. Your name, is it Grindel or Grendel, and how are you spelling that? Grindel, G-R-I-N-D-A-L-L. -L. Okay, thank you for that. <coughs> Much love. Uh, Hello, Grendel, this is Oha. All right, hurry up, I'm getting uncomfortable. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, quick. Uh, I have a fear from reptilians. Could you help me overcome this? I think it has to come from the past life or something. Could you help me overcome it? Yeah, here. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. <laughs> That's about as much you have to fear from us, really. I mean, at this point, your guys are protected. You don't really need to fear us. I'm, uh, you know, so what? I'm ugly. Just pretend I'm your uh, sister-in-law or something. Not from you in general. I'm talking about in general. You're okay. You're fine. You're sweetheart. Oh, uh, I see what you mean. Hey, these other reptilians, they're just curious for the most part. You know, they want to see what you, you know, see what you act like, see what you look like. They probably won't even touch you. Most of them are are afraid to touch you. They're as afraid of you as you are of them sometimes. So don't worry about it. And if anyone gets around you that's harmful, I'll chase them out anyway. All you have to do is call Grindel. Okay, if you great. call me, I, I can chase away. I'm real good at exorcism, let me tell you that. Okay, so great. I've had my own life? demons, so I'm, I'm good at that. Grindel, does it come from a past life or something, this fear of mine? I can't understand you. Does it come from a past life or something? Who, me or you? Me, of course. Oh, your fear. Oh, yes, your your fears from a past life. Yeah. Yeah, very possible. Mm, I I I I'm, I'm hurting too much right now to let you know, so I have to go. Um, this. All righty. Um, I'm, I'll talk to you later, and thanks for letting me. Uh. Come in uh, and talk to you. All right, I'll see you later. Thanks to your uncle, Grindel. Bye, 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 bye. bye. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. You're going to need a censoring unit for uh, Grindel in the future, huh? <laughs> yeah, let him put it out there. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love yeah. it to you. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, thank you, James. Thank you so Hello. much. Thank you, thank you. I heard Grindel, so... So, just a quick apology if people couldn't get their questions in there. Obviously... Jim's done Sorry a massive job today, so um, let's just thank all the entities and uh, for the information they brought today. Uh, so thank them from your hearts because okay. it was really special, a really monumental day today. Very good, excellent. Okay, Roxy, we're ready for you now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hang on, I'm unmuted, right? You are. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. And thank you. Oh, all right. You're welcome. <clears throat> and greetings once again to the collective. This is Osiphius. The blessing we would like to offer is one, the only one, we find, as Grendel would say, our eternal frame, our highest joy to offer this. It is that of the collective, that of your Father, that of the One, to offer you the blessing for you to remember that the individuals that you see in perspective are you. That you is that of God. 
and understand this entities of ascension that God is not a God outside of you now you understand that God is in you and now in this blessing this offering we would like you to remember that that God is you you are the forgotten God there is no separation there is no two there is no infinite there is only one representing the infinite yeah. I bid you a good now love eternal Adonai beautiful beautiful thank you so much that was a perfect ending for today thank you it was a great one wasn't it yes it was perfect it, it yeah. touched me it made me feel very warm so yes thank you very much and um, it, it's going to be a great year this year. I can just feel it. It's, the year is... Uh, I have to share something with you that's a little funny. Do you, Does anybody remember the videos of uh, me fixing my car with duct tape? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was contacted by an advertising company. They want to use the footage in a national commercial. Nice. Oh, nice. I like that. As Charlie so Sheen would say, winning. It's uh, how they came across <laughs> it, but they contacted me and said, "We'd like to pay you five hundred dollars for to use your footage of the Jim, the uh, from the video Jim fixing his car with duct tape." Uh, we feel that it would be very <laughs> beneficial for our major, for a major uh, car. Uh, insurance or auto insurance something I'm not sure but anyway I love it that's wonderful isn't that wild that so, is awesome. <laughs> so, so happy for, you. for every 10 seconds they use I get five hundred dollars so wow, great, great. but it's a one-time payment it's like a one-time payment oh. that's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay. a one-time shot but it's like Hilarious to me. I'm looking at this going, are you kidding me? They're going to be using my duct taping uh, video for a commercial. Hey, so. this is this is from the universe. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. Just, like, just so Perfect. many interesting things happen these days, yes. Yeah. So it's awesome. just beautiful. So this is a great example. Just put yourself out there, do these things, get them. You know, and and the universe rewards you. So yeah, it's a you never know. Exactly. Is yeah. that not the most weird thing you ever heard? Somebody sending me a, a notification. They and they have all these links to all their different. I don't know how they found me, but they have like ten different links to different places where you can uh, find out about them and do all kinds of things. So it's very interesting. And then they have the. Uh, Release form, and that's one of the links, and it's very oh easy. yay! Isn't that cool? That's yeah. a great reality you created. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that thanks cool? for sharing that because there's going to be um, so many more people inspired I, from yeah, that, Jim. Whether they use it or not is in question, but I think they will. They just said it's perfect for one of our commercials, so it's like okay, I'll get back to you. <laughs> I just got that yesterday, by the way, and it was like, what? That's so funny. <laughs> and they go, do you have the original tape, which Max has, of course, on his little... Uh, oh, yeah, he might have copyright you. <laughs> yeah, they want to copyright it, obviously. Yeah, yeah, and they with the original, They want the original film, and so it's very, all looks very legit, so we'll see. So, that's awesome. <laughs> Perfect. So, if you see a commercial with me fixing my car with duct tape, yeah. Oh, just let us know. Keep us posted on that. I'm so excited. <laughs> I might actually watch TV just to watch that. After. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. If, 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 it, if it's made into a commercial, I will let you know. But uh, that's just a funny thing that was that that I thought was hilarious. I have to call Max now and let him know because I was. Yeah. It was late last night that they had contacted me, and I was like, 
What? <laughs> James put it on the website. It needs to see it. Yeah. Great. No, but anyway. Anyway, okay. thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. And don't forget about the Mother Earth Healing. The Mother Earth Healing uh, on Facebook is is already it's been out for a day or two and already has over twelve hundred likes. So it's amazing. It's just it's it just is beautiful. Snowballed really has And the video I, the video was very emotional. I, I thought I went like, Oh my god, that doesn't even sound like my voice. It doesn't even it doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> So it isn't really so, but I listened to it going, "Who is that?" Oh, that's me. Uh, but what they had to say was just gorgeous, so I was happy. Um, They're all the famous. All right, much love to all of you. You too, Thank Jim. You. And I hope Thank to talk you, to you again soon. And we um, well, all right. Like Take boy. care. Oh, bye. 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 Everybody so, bye. thank you once again. Um, thank you. If you'd like to find out more, uh, our website is www.humancolony.org. But you probably know that already if you're tuning into our YouTube channel. But if you haven't, please drop by. If any of this information has benefited you in any ways, please feel free to donate to the site. Keep us rolling, keep us going. We don't take any personal money from it. It goes all to the site and all the channeling money all goes to Jim, keeps them going. So please just, uh, and if you feel like stepping up, doing webinars, being involved, just send oh, yeah. us now. Get involved because that's yeah, what it's all about. It's all about you guys creating your reality for yourself by doing things, getting involved with us. And this is how this whole thing is manifested now. So I appeal oh, yeah. to you. Please get involved. I agree and with you. we'll have a little after our after webinar hangout. So if anybody's listening to this, wants to join back in the room, we'll just have a quick chat afterwards and, and see how it rolls from there. So you're all welcome to join back in. Much love, everybody. Namaste. Bye. Bye. I'm going to give everybody a hug. <laughs> Okay, we'll see you next week. We are Hukolo TV, www.humancolony.org. We love you all. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.